we're an old-fashioned five and dime um, variety store. We've been here since 1956. Uh, there's not too many variety stores or dime stores left in the uh, area. I believe we might be the last one in Chicago, uh, including the suburbs. Uh, so a variety of everything. This is how uh, your Walmart started. They were a Ben Franklin, similar to us. Same with Kmart, they used to be Kreskis. Uh, cater a lot to the neighborhood. People that have moved on from the neighborhood, they come back. We'd like to see a lot more of them come back. Uh, they do come back on weekends to show their grandkids or their kids what they grew up with. Uh, we try to cater to neighborhood, the neighborhood, and uh, cater to different items that this big stores don't carry. Full line of sewing products, yarns, needles. Kmart, I don't believe they even sell a needle and thread. Um, and we just do everything smaller. Uh, customer service oriented. Uh, you pop in here, we'll talk to you. You're talking to me right off the bat. Um, you need something, we'll try to help you find it and help you locate it somewhere. People say we can, uh, they, if I can't find it anywhere, they can find it here at JNR. They just need to come here first. Uh, memories. I mean, they, uh, big stores, they're the same all the time. Uh, here they grew up, they came in, they bought candy, they bought a rubber baseball that the kids used to go up to the schools and chalk out a box on the side of the school for uh, fast pitching. We still sell that rubber ball. Uh, we'll bring up about a half a dozen of them for the grandkids. Um, model airplanes or uh, balsa wood planes, we still sell those. Uh, ball and jacks for the girls. Grandma wants to show them how to play ball and jacks. Uh, pickup sticks. I, mean, I know I can ask my youngest boy what a pickup stick is. It'll get me like I'm crazy. Uh, but Grandma knows, and she'll teach the grandkids how to play that. Tell me a little bit about your involvement with JNR. How long have you been here? Are you know are you related to the original owners? So you know. Uh, my dad had worked for the original owners uh, starting back in the late '40s, and uh, when this store they were going to move to a new location, he stayed here from 1956. He opened the store, laid it all out, and uh, then my uncle came on board and worked here also, and eventually they bought the store from the owners. I've been here pretty much all my life. Uh, I did have jobs in between as you know, a young adult, and, uh, and I think my uncle wanted to retire, and my dad didn't. And my dad asked me to come on board, and, and I said, uh, try it out for a while. I'm still here. It's been uh, 27 years, <laughs> something like that. Love to walk uh, on the wood floors where they creak. There's spots where it creaks even louder than, than normal. If I'm downstairs, I can kind of judge what aisle people are in, as you can hear the creaks. Uh, but they do love it, and they always tell me never to change it. I don't think I ever would because I probably have to. I'd like to have it refinished, but uh, that probably take about four days to do, and four or five days I'd probably have to be closed for all that. about the creakiest aisle I think we have. Halloween counters out and we do a nice job with Halloween decorations. Uh, we have these great light ups that we uh, sell quite a bit of. Uh, throw them in a window, plug them in, they look fantastic. And then we still have your old fashioned beastal cutouts that uh, the big stores just don't carry this stuff anymore. Some of the old fashioned toys, it's like little child's broom. And I don't think anybody sells these anymore. They're great for just cleaning up in the kitchen or for a grandkid. Yes. 
one key. Okay, give me a sec. <laughs> And so you also cut keys. We sure do. So it's a little bit of a hardware store as well, in, a, in that sense. Somewhat, Toys of my youth. Yes, and like the snakes. A little bit of an old fashioned toy, a rubber band gun. Everybody, uh, I guess back in the 40s and 50s, these probably things used to be really popular. Got a few different numbers in. So I imagine that's a big part of the charm here is that not only can you get toys that are current in the present day, but you can get favorites of years gone by, right? Sure. And you can get, you can get a, in the springtime, you can get a kite. We sell kites, hula hoops, uh, blow up uh, inflatables for the pool. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Even rubber, rubber snakes for boys to tease their sisters sure. with, right? <laughs> there you go. Got a regular regular pit here. <laughs> We're open uh, Monday through Friday, 9.30 to 6 p.m. Uh, Saturdays, 9 to 5. And we're also open on Sunday, 11 to 4. And you've got a Facebook page too, right? We do have a Facebook page. You can become a friend anytime. <laughs>